Okay, YouTube. So this is part two uh, of my video game collection. Uh, you guys got to see the uh, PlayStation, Mason, uh, PlayStation mainly part of it, rather. Sorry. <laughs> but uh, I figured I'd get into the retro side here uh, and some of the stuff I do have. I got some pretty cool stuff. I'm not saying it's valuable. Maybe not as of now, but I found I have like pamphlets and all this other stuff that I've saved over the years. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into it. So my favorite video game system, a cartridge-based system of all time, is this one, the Nintendo 64. I don't think many people would argue with me on that. It's just a great system, guys. I mean, it, it was supposed to be a kind of a, like a major failure because it was going up against the PlayStation 1 and the Sega Dreamcast and all these kind of CD-based systems. Nintendo was kind of the last per the last um, <clears throat> company to stick with the cartridges while everybody else went to CDs. But um, <clears throat> it was just a great success, guys. And... <clears throat> In my opinion, most of these games are funner than the games now today. I still play these. There's just something about this noise. There's something about... And just doing that. You can't get it with online experiences. I mean, I know you could download these games on your computers now for almost nothing. But it's just not the same, you know? So... As I've gotten older, I've really began to appreciate a lot of this stuff. And it's just sad that this uh, new generation will never really know it. But they might hear about it. They may see videos. They even, even may down the line, they may, you know, say, oh, yeah, sure, I'll pick up one of those. But they'll never really get the experience when it was live and thriving. So I'm here to share it with you because, like I said, to me, it's just great. So I have uh, 85 uh, Nintendo 64 games to be exact. I went through and counted them all and everything on this bed does work I've tested it all and I do also have some collector's items that I consider valuable to me and some people may consider them valuable too someday so some of these like this uh, unfortunately when we were kids we threw the boxes away but man I wish I wouldn't have nowadays so this is actually in really really good condition I picked this up at my local uh, retail um, well not yeah kind of retail but uh, retro gaming store rather we do have one in town and this box is just in great condition. You know, the game looks flawless. Um, I got it in these Ziploc bags because I just don't want anything to happen to them. You know, I don't want anything to get spilled on them or dust get collected in them. I mean, it, stuff just happens. If you guys, if you collectors out there <clears throat> really know like a better way to store these, I, I'm more than willing to suggestions. But for now, this is what I could come up with. But what's cool about this one is, yeah, of course, Diddy Kong Racing. We all know that. But this apparently came with the launch VHS tape at the time, and I got it. It was in the collector's items in my retro store, and I picked it up. I'd never seen this before. So, and needless to say, it was a pretty penny. But something like that that I've never seen before, I really try to get to. And like I said, I'm not these freak game collectors, but if I see something cool like this, I'll pick it up, you know? Um, Mission Impossible, of course. This box is not in the greatest condition, but it's, you know... The fact that you can find them at all, is that just alone makes it worth it. Then, of course, uh, South Park. One of my favorite TV shows of all time, of course. Um, yeah, this was like one of the first South Park games, I think, that ever came out. And, um, yeah, box, like I said, manuals and all these... I got these all because, you know, you just don't see these anymore. It's really hard to find these, especially in person. I mean, I mean I'm sure you can go online and find them, but to find them the way I did, it's just, yeah, I'm old school. So, <laughs> so that's the 64 collection, guys. Um, and I do have, uh, well, I'll do this real quick, I guess. I, this is not really a rare game, but it, the cartridge is in just great, excellent condition. I mean, it's just, it's... Don't have a mark on it, not a scratch, nothing. I do have another version of it right there. That's You can see, definitely tell that one's in a little rougher condition than this one. So, I don't know. Like I said, it may not be worth anything right now, but who knows, you know. Um, I'm trying to get this off this uh, permanent marker somebody put on there. Um, and this is actually the first time I've seen an N64 game with a halogen, uh, um, or with that reflecting uh, um, cover, rather. So course that one of the best games of all time right there uh, and conquers bad fur day that is i was on the line and i see this game going north of 120 130 dollars so and that's just the cartridge so if you got the box of manual it's probably even worth more than that so that's the n64 guys and I'm, i got this all laid out here because i mean this is just i mean you know you can't find this shit no more i mean you just can't you know especially in good condition so i found 
this is like an ad. This actually came with my system. I've kept it all these years, but this I actually found in the retro store. And I just thought, hey, look, I mean, it's cool. You know, I mean, it's in really good shape. You know, you can't find this. You'll probably never find this again. And it's just, like I said, it's just cool little things like that. So, of course, this is the advertisement for the Super Nintendo. Um, and this is to tell you how to hook it up. You know, stuff like that. And like I said, it may not be worth anything, but it's just the fact that, you know, somebody might want this. You know, somebody may say, hey, man. That looks really cool. I like that, you know. So there's some advertisements there. And, of course, I have the original instruction booklet. I've had this ever since I've had the system. This is my original system, by the way. But, yeah, the book's in really good shape. Stuff like that. What I found really cool about this pickup was the fact that, listen, Netflix, Hulu, Disney+, Plus. I'm sorry, you just can't get, you just can't get the same experience. You can't. This was definitely from a video rental store, you can tell, because... This is what they would put them in. You know, great shape. The box is in great shape. So, and there's the uh, Super Nintendo collection. Not real big right now, but I do have some pretty cool games. I, like I said, I keep everything in bags just because I don't want anything to get dirty and, you know, beat up. And this is the uh, original boxes for uh, a couple of the um, Super Nintendo controllers that I have. Um, not that much more in here. Like I said, just some really good old classic games in here. Clay Fighter. Uh, Star Fox, of course. Um, uh, Super Bowling has Tetris and Dr. Mario. You know, I mean, I'm, like I said, I don't have time to go through each one by one. But, hey, if there's something you want to see, and uh, I'll definitely see if I have it. Now, what upset me more about this is that there was a 60, or, I'm sorry, a Super Nintendo that came out later than mine that where the plastic didn't fade like this. Um, unfortunately, I do have the one that faded and turned yellow a little bit. It's not as bad as it could be, but, you know, like I said, it, it still works, and that's what counts, right? I mean, it's just, if I ever get sick of games nowadays, the walking simulators and whatever we got going on right now that this generation loves, I can always go back to Old Faithful. And then, of course, what makes this so unique is the fact that um, it's the original box with the Platinum GameCube, and it works, and it's the original controller, original hookups, everything. I haven't, um, I fired this up, but like I said, I haven't really played it much because I don't want, you know, I just want it to last, you know. Some of the game GameCube games I got, which by the way, are, are becoming a real pain in the ass to find. And if you do find them, they're really a high price. So, what makes this so unique, I know people are probably looking at this right away, but this is the original but this has the bonus disc, and this is the one that is worth the money, it seems like. Not so much the original. The original is worth money, too, but this is the one that has the bonus disc. And this is the one I see that many people are out to get. So, And, of course, Zelda up there. They did have another version of this where it doesn't have this bestseller logo on it. And that seems to be the one very desirable that people want. So, And that one's really hard to find, too. And then, of course, guys... You can't have a video game collection review without the one that started it all, right? I don't have many games. I have the I picked out at the time my favorite games that I did play for this. But here it is, guys, the grandfather of it all. The regular Nintendo. It took me forever to find another one of these. And like I said, the box is not in the greatest shape. But hey, this works well. It has all the parts. It even has this old thing that I don't even think you can find anymore. Fortunately, I got a different hookup than this that'll work. But yeah, I mean, the gun works. The system works. A little squeaky, but hey, man. And the system is in really good shape. You know, I mean, that's another thing about it. It's not faded. It's not beat up. It, it looks really, really good. This system held up really, really well. So like I said, for you new gamers out there, this is what I grew up with. I mean, this was video gaming right here. This was it. You know, so hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you have any games that you want to see or have any suggestions on ones that I should go after, please feel free. You know, I'm always up for the um, feedback. So here you go, guys. Old school is always going to be the best.